Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly convert your avatar from dynamic bones to fizz bones. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is um, obviously open up your project folder for your avatar that you want to convert. And you're going to want to go to assets right here. You're going to want to go down to VRC SDK. And you're going to want to delete it. Now you're going to get a bunch of errors, but ignore that because once we import the latest SDK, it'll correct all the errors. Um, so I'm just going to let this uh, finalize with deleting. And one thing that I will say, if you guys are previously running a modified SDK, uh, right click on any random folder and click show and explore. And if you still see VRC SDK in here, you're going to have to close your project folder and manually delete it. Um, but that's only if your SDK doesn't allow you to delete it when it's open. Um, so the next step, what you're going to want to do is going to want to go open up your browser. Um, you're going to want to go on the VR chat site. You're going to want to sign in. I'll have a direct link in the description, but, um, so you're going to want to click the download tab right here. You're going to want to download their new SDK three. And then you're going to want to click on it to import it. You're going to want to click import there on the window that pops up. Okay. Now that we have the SDK in there, you're going to want to, you know, click up here, VRC SDK. Go to utilities, convert dynamic bones to fizz bones. Oops, uh, you're going to want to select an avatar first. I forgot to do that. So click on that. Click VRChat SDK, Utilities, Convert Dynamic Bones to Fizz Bones, Proceed. Now it's going to remove your original Dynamic Bone scripts and then it's going to replace it with the new Fizz Bones, which is VRChat's own version of them, which supposedly are going to be more optimized, but I guess we'll wait and see. Um, so now that my avatar is complete, like converted like that's literally all you have to do to get the conversion done um but depending on the avatar and how long the hair is and all you will have to adjust some values on the bones so uh for example like this avatar is probably fine um oops uh this one's probably fine because yeah, you can see the hair there it's probably fine because the hair is so short so i'm not going to edit the values for the male but for this female one here, um, let me select it. You're going to want to select the avatar. You're going to want to click on VRChat SDK again, utilities, convert dynamic bones to fizz bones. Okay, it's converted. You can see it. everything has changed. So um, I'm going to put it in play mode just so I can interact with the avatar to show you guys how the avatar moves now with fizz bones. You can see how like sensitive and quick the hair moves like... That's not how it was previously, so uh, I'm going to want to turn that off. Um, and you're going to want to go to Armature. You're going to want to find the hair, so I'm going to go to Spine, Chest, Neck, Head. Uh, okay, these right here is my... Um, that's the hair. That's where the new bones are going to be uh, under, so uh, I'm going to... I have all of them. I mean, you could click on each individual one, but I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to select the last one to select them all. And um, you're going to want to play with... So all these values are your original ones, but they're converted. So um, they're, they are not going to be like a direct conversion. So you're going to want to like maybe adjust this a little bit. So I'm going to lower the momentum to maybe 0 0.5 gravity. Uh, hold on. Gravity is, okay, so gravity, for example, is 0, 2, so I'm going to click on all of those, which is going to override it, uh, 0 0.05, okay, so those are my values for that, um, now that's just a random number that I'm going to go off by. Uh, here, let's see. You can see how the, the hair is a lot...
better with movement. It's not like all over the place. Um, I could probably adjust the values a little bit more to make it more to my liking, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, but I will show you guys um, one other thing. If you go to spine, chest. Um, one sec. Okay, so this is the left breast. Now, you will have to play with the numbers too a little bit. So I'll leave that up to you guys because every avatar is different. Um, so my numbers on this avatar aren't going to be the same on another female. Every, every avatar is going to have like different numbers or um, close to it. So um, you're going to have to play with the numbers. But there is also another thing that you guys can do is uh, limit type. Basically what limit does, instead of having like a collider in the chest from preventing your boobs from like inverting inwards when you like walk forward, if you set the angle, now there's different settings you can play with, but uh, so the boob will only move in like within the cone, so it'll only fill in the cone and you could actually adjust this number here. Um, there's like other things you can adjust too. I'm not going to go into full details on that because, uh, I'm just showing you guys how to convert them, but, um, that's pretty much it for converting your bones. So remember you have to click SDK utilities, convert dynamic bones to fizz bones and make sure you have your avatar selected before you do that. And, um, also, you know, manually adjusting the values as needed. Uh, there's one other thing I will show you guys before I wrap this up. Um, so, they added allow grabbing and allow posing. Now, if you don't want people to be able to grab your bones, like your hair or the boob on the avatar, you're going to want to turn this off. I'm going to leave mine on, but I'm going to probably... Well, it's up to you guys, but if you turn off allow posing, it pretty much will make it. So if somebody grabs it, it won't stay held in that position when they let go. So it's probably better keeping posing off. I'm just going to leave everything on and work on this another time. But, um, you know, there's other options too that you guys can take a look at. But um, that's pretty much it just to get your avatar converted over. Um, it's really easy. So if you guys have any other questions, just drop it in the comments. Or you guys could join my Discord server, which will also be linked in the description. And uh, just posted one of the channels and, um, you know, I'll try to reply when I can. I hope this video helped you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the new update. Um, it does bring a lot more optimization to the game. So it is good to, you know, properly convert your avatars over. Thank you and don't forget to like and subscribe.